AutoStack is a camera-based solution that allows you to quickly and easily blend or stack multiple projectors. It supports up to 12 projectors, and it's really aimed at the rental and staging environment where you're constantly changing uh, the venue you're going to be working with. You might have a 60-foot screen in one setup. You might have a 20-foot screen in another one. You may be doing a two-projector blend or a one-by-two stack with four projectors. And the idea with the software and camera-based system is that we allow you to enter those parameters in the software. And then using the camera itself, you can automate the process to make the blending and stacking much easier since you don't need to have the expertise that you previously needed. Uh, in an environment where you didn't have this camera system to help you out. AutoStack is primarily targeted at the rental and staging marketplace simply because they're constantly changing venues and they never know how many projectors you're going to use from one venue to the next. And the idea is that most customers right now are requiring either a blend or a stack. Uh, it's very typical to have three or four projectors to do a larger image and this can be a challenge and time consuming um, for a rental and stager where they need to have a trained technician who can do this very quickly and typically very quickly even for a trained technician can be a couple hours. This is the value of AutoStack. We're basically replacing this by saying that once you set up the camera, the process takes about two and a half minutes per projector to automatically blend and stack the projectors for you. I'm going to illustrate the before and after um, of using AutoStack. In this case we can see the native output of two projectors where the image has not been blended. And as a result here, we can see, once we've actually run the AutoStack software, we've got a perfect blend. Secondary marketplace would be uh, fixed install, where we have a typical church or university who's purchased projectors for a multi-projector blend, and they don't necessarily have the expertise on hand to do a blend or a stack should things shift around. So the idea is that with AutoStack, you can install the fixed camera, somewhere we can see the entire screen and then run the software to automatically recalibrate, blend or stack without having to physically go and adjust any of the projectors. In terms of actually working with the AutoStack software, once you set up your projectors in your camera, you want to launch the software and then you have the option of browsing for projectors. So in the case of an example where we have four projectors, you would browse, select the four projectors in question and then the software is smart enough to figure out how many projectors you're working with and it will provide options that are suitable to that setup. So you might have a one by four blend, a one by two stack for instance. Once you've done that, the next step is really just to take a screen capture using the camera. And then on the interface, you'll have the ability to go ahead and select the corner points. And once you have those corner points, then the next step is really just to run the calibration. And then it'll set up a series of white dots on the screen that the camera will use to calibrate the projectors. And that will automatically blend and stack the projectors. The process takes about two and a half minutes per projector. So for example, in a four projector stack and blend, you'd be looking at about a 10 minute process as opposed to hours. Any Christie projector equipped with a Christie twist module is supported by AutoStack. And the camera based system communicates with the twist module to automate the blending and stacking process. When you're setting up AutoStack, just keep in mind that you don't need to be very accurate in terms of setting up the projectors. Just point the projectors at the screen so that the image is covering the screen itself. And if you plan on doing a blend, make sure that the blend overlap is greater than what you actually intend. So if you want a 20% blend, you know, visually do a 25 to 30% blend and the software will actually go ahead and put in the accurate blend at 20%. Same can be said about the screen edges. If they spill over the screen itself, no problem. When you actually select the corners of the screen with the software, the warp card will then adjust the image to fit the screen in question.